Good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Cuts by Dre, New Styles Mobile Barber, and I'm back in the building, back in the shop for another episode. Today I'm going to be going over the tools that I use or the difference between the tools that I use in the shop and the tools that I use in my mobile van. Now there's not a whole lot of big difference, but I did choose to buy different clippers, some things different for the mobile van than I did for the shop. You know, one thing I like about YouTube, being an older barber myself, been in the game for 30 years, I've been influenced by a lot of influencers on YouTube, been impressed by a lot of them, and been motivated by a lot of the barbers on YouTube to step my game up, to step my investment game up in myself and my tools, try to, trying to bring my barbering experience to my customers up to the next level. So what I'm going, what I'm going to talk about today, basically I'm going to go over and let, let y'all see what I'm working with in the shop, in my station. Then I'm going to shoot out to the barber van, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to compare the two. And if y'all got any comments, any things that y'all think that you know I need to add to my collection or things that I need to take away from my collection, let me know, man. Tell me what you think. Definitely like and subscribe to my channel. I'm new to the game, you know. Been in this YouTube game for, I guess, about six months now. You know, I'm at around about 240 subscribers. By the end of the year, I'm trying to make my way up to 1,000 subscribers. Not just to get monetized on YouTube, but I have noticed that YouTube is a very excellent way to advertise yourself, to advertise your business. It's free advertisement. I've had customers come in and get in my chair that said they are in my chair because of my YouTube channel. And even though I'm not monetized yet, my channel is still bringing me revenue. So that's one of the reasons why I keep doing the videos. It, 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 I like doing it. It actually gets addictive. So if any of you barbers out there watching, think about starting you a barber channel. It's not always about getting monetized and getting a check from YouTube. A lot of the time it's about, well, most of the time it's about giving yourself exposure, exposure to your shop. The most in inexpensive way to advertise is YouTube, and everybody's on it these days. You already know that. So get get your channel started up, man. Start recording some videos. Get your cell phone out. Start getting some practice, and before you know it, you'll be getting better and better and better. You know, myself, I'm still new to it. I'm still trying to improve what I'm doing on a weekly basis, trying to up my, my camera quality, trying to up my video editing, just trying to make it a better experience out there for y'all so that I can bring y'all some knowledge in this barbering game so that I can teach some people and hopefully inspire some people as well. So, hey, check me out, subscribe to my channel, like my channel, and also let me know what you think about this, uh, this, this tutorial I'm gonna do today right now. So we are gonna go into my clippers and I'm going to get started with a review right here on the clippers that I'm using in the shop, then the mobile van, all right? All right, this is my station in the shop. I chose these tall stations because I thought they gave a cleaner look. I don't have a real big shop, as you can see. Got five chairs in my shop, including myself. But I chose these tall, they're, they're actually kitchen counters, kitchen cabinets that you can buy from like your Lowe's, your Home Depot. Then I went to Walmart and I threw a mirror on the front. Went to Walmart, got lucky, was able to purchase me, you know, five of those mirrors, the same mirrors that go on the front of each station. And I think they give my shop a nicer, a cleaner look. You know, a lot of people come in and they compliment on how clean the shop is because of these stations. You know, I used to have the countertop stations where everybody had a lot of stuff on top of their stations. And I really didn't like that because stuff just accumulated, clippers, all kind of stuff, man, just accumulated weekly. And the shop just started to look a mess because their stations was, was looking a mess. So I decided to go to this method so that you can pretty much put all your stuff inside of the side of your station and nothing is ever out here on the floor. So today we're just gonna do a walkthrough of my station. This is my station right here. Got a light that comes on in here once you go in here. And this is my basic, what I basically use. Kind of organized here. Got my airbrush gun over there. Got some of my brushes in here, my gloves that I use. Got some pencils, some Toon 45 product. Down here below in the lower part is where I keep a lot of my 
my bottle supplies, you know, and my clipper guards. I got the uh, premium guards for my FXs, which I'm not all that pleased with. These premium guards right here with the gold clips, they're like $30, I think, for the pack. And I'm not impressed with these at all. They're good for certain things, but they do hold the hair. They accumulate a lot of the hair. So when you're cutting, the hair actually sticks in the guard, doesn't freely fall out, thus, thus slowing down the clippers a little bit. So I went back and purchased the, the generic guards with the silver front. They also go on the Babers clippers and they were only $10 for a pack and they work excellent. They do still have the metal back, snaps on real good. They're excellent. So if any of y'all out there looking to purchase guards for you, they fit on the walls and they fit on the FXs. Go with the generic guards. I'm not sure the name of them, but you know, they got the metal clips on the back and they do an excellent job. Also in here in the back, you see I got my uh, my Stylecraft clippers. You know, I got the Sabre and I got the Flex. And I also keep, uh, I keep uh, my Andy's clipper right here. Charging back here in the back. You know, I normally just keep those on charge. So this is basically my station out here. Some clips up here on the side and along with my mirror and my holster. You know, this is the holster I put on when I cut hair. I throw it around my shoulder so I don't have to keep reaching back and forth. Then over here on the outside on my clipper mat, these are the clippers that I use the most. So I wanted to store them on the outside of my station. Still trying to keep it neat. You know, didn't want to have an actual desktop station, just wanted something neat, something portable. And this is where I keep my clippers that I snatch up, you know, and I use the quickest because it's all about that speed in this game. Out here, I got my gold FXs, the original ones I bought. Then I went and bought the boosts. And these are the ones I use the most for my fade. And they're excellent clippers, do a good job. They're fast, they're powerful. And I got my Andes. These outliners right here, the cordless version, not a big fan of those, but you know, they're good for when you're doing the back of kids' necks hair, you know, you know, doesn't doesn't irritate the client. They're not as sharp, so you don't have to worry about, you know, sensitive necks when you use them. Then I got my foil shaver from uh Babeless as well. I use that to clean up, you know, clean up a lot of cuts, clean up around the bottom, shaves, stuff of that nature. So this right here is pretty much my basic clipper set in my shop. Not a whole lot going on, you know. This is I keep it simple, you know. So it's not a lot going on here. So tell me what you think. Tell me if I need to add to it. You know, I, I keep my Bible up there. If y'all see that, my my business Bible. Always got to keep that in my station. Been here for 30 years, and that that Bible been in my station or on my station for 30 years as well. And I'm I'm sure that's a the main reason why I'm still in business after 30 years. So just tell me what you think, y'all. Is it a better way that I can organize this? You know, I like to be able to just close it up so customers can't see all this stuff. Just close it up out the way. This out here on the outside, I can't cover this up, but like I said, I can get to this real quick, real fast, and you know, helps me get my cuts out a little bit quicker. So tell me what y'all think. We're going to go outside to the uh, mobile van. You might see it parked out there. We're going to go out there to the van, and I'm going to show y'all what I'm working with out there. All right, going out to the mobile van right now. That's my actual personal Nissan next to it, the black one. I'm actually disappointed because Nissan actually discontinued both of these models. And I'm about to get my mobile van painted black just like this one, like this one was white. I painted it black, threw some rims on it, some spoilers on it, and it looks a whole lot better. So I'm gonna paint my barber van black as well, throw some tires on that, just to make it look a little bit better, just to, you know, make it look a little bit more fancier. When you're pulling up to your customers, you wanna, you wanna get them a total luxury experience if you can, you know, a better premium experience and customers will pay more for that. You know, I'm about to show y'all real quick. Got my barber pole up there. Got my advertising, my floor vacuum to vacuum up the hair. And my clippers back here hanging up. These are the main clippers that I use inside the, the mobile van here. These here are 
my wall 100s all metal chassis had these over five years i love these clippers they powerful don't make a whole lot of noise quiet real good reliable clippers i keep them charged up while i'm driving and they don't really take a lot of charge time you know i've never had my clippers die on me while i was cutting hair inside of the mobile van and they're only charging pretty much when i get in it to and from customers of course when i cut the van off they're not charging anymore got my old reliable fx's my gold fx's these are probably the oldest clippers in here i use these for ball fades you know haven't upgraded them yet, but I did put a, a, a new blade on these. I put a new graphite blade on these to get the, the ball fade just a little bit tighter. Got my FX, I mean my flexes, my Stylecraft flexes. What I believe are the best, the best shape ups out. Let me take off this cover real quick. Right here, I believe these are the best, tightest, you know, edges for shape ups on the market. The best I've used in 30 years. So I got a pair of these for the shop. And I said, hey, I can't have my cuts in the shop better than my mobile cut. So I had to go out and invest in a pair. Definitely get a pair of them for the mobile. You know, you're charging more money for mobile cuts. So I definitely didn't want my shop cuts looking better than my mobile cuts. Then we got here the uh, my Black Boost FXs. Pretty much just like the uh, blue ones in the shop. I like the FX's because they're nice. They feel like that you got something in your hand. They got the rubber grip around them. They're powerful. They give you clean, smooth, crisp fades. Give you crisp afros when you're cutting across the top. Very good clippers. I love that clipper, and that's one of the reasons why, you know, I use them in the, in the, uh, in the mobile van. Over here in my cabinet, you know, I keep a little bit more of my supplies, my neck strips up there. You know, a little bit of alcohol for cleaning. And I have up here my fast feeds. Bought these fast feeds because, you know, a while back I used the cordless fast feeds. I mean, the corded version about 10, 15 years ago. I love my fast feeds. They gave me an excellent cut 10, 15 years ago. I'm not that impressed with these. I'm going to be truthful, honest with you. The cordless fast feeds. I'm not that impressed with them, although I do use them for certain things. They're good for bulk because they do got a strong motor in them. So I do use them for bulk. If I'm taking out a lot of bulk in hair, I do use them for that. And sometimes I use them, you know, just to clean up a fade, you know, because they, they're not as sharp as I would like them to be. Also over here, got my talc powder, got my, uh, in here, got my Rebel. My Rebel shavers in the van. I'm trying to pull them out the cord real quick so you can see them. My Stylecraft Rebels. I use this in the van because it has a USB charger connection, which I like, you know, because I don't have as many outlets in the van as you would like. You know, this one has a USB charger, so I can plug it in USB and it charges up just as fast so i do love that and this right here you might not know what this is here also charging up by usb this is my my lights that i throw on my head sometimes you know you see some miners using those when they mining for gold that's my lights if i ever got to get out of the van and go inside of a, a home i don't really go in homes but sometimes i do have a couple clients that's in a nursing home I'll throw that light on my head and that'll, you know, that'll help me, help me see just a little bit better. All right, over here on this side is where I have some more of my, my, my clipper guards up here. These are Andy's guards. They fit on the Andy's clippers. They also fit on the, uh, the uh, fast feed clippers. Got my neck strips up here, my neck duster, and my mirrors hanging up. Also, my vacuum cleaner that I use to vacuum off clients and down here in this box right here this kit this is where I keep my uh my cleaning you know cleaning brushes and also my airbrush my airbrush gun that I use I got one of these in the shop as well I think this is the best most affordable airbrush gun that you can use you can cop that off of Amazon I did a video on this a little while back 
I use that with the uh, Tomb 45 no drip. That airbrush gun with the Tomb 45 no drip does an excellent job. Doesn't clog up the airbrush gun as much. Don't have to clean it a whole lot. I also keep as a backup in here this Temptation. Did a video on this Temptation a while back. I'm not a big fan of the Temptation, but I do use it as a backup. Just in case my airbrush gun want to act up, want to get clogged up, or if I run out of Tune 45, I do want to highlight somebody. You know, I keep that Temptation as a backup. And my shaving gel that I use in here, which is, I believe, some of the best gel on the market, that Tune 45 shaving gel. Get you some of this, y'all, if y'all shaving, if y'all doing lineups with shave, beard trims with shave. You know, I thought shaving gel was shaving gel until I got this, especially for if you mobile. Because in the mobile van, you see, I don't have a sink in here. I don't have water in here. So this gel right here is excellent for shaving because it you don't need a lot of water. You don't need any water with it. You know, I got tiles in the cabinet, sanitation in the cabinet with a little bit of this gel. It doesn't even take a lot. You know, you can shave a whole face with it. Definitely going around the edge ups there's no problem with that definitely something to cop so hey this is pretty much what i use inside the mobile van tell me y'all tell me what you think y'all tell me if you think if i need to add to it if i need to take away from any of the things that i'm using in the van just tell me what you think so that's pretty much my video of my mobile van my clippers the tools that i use inside the van versus the tools that i use inside the shop you know, if you like what you've seen, definitely comment below. Definitely subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'm new to YouTube. And to all y'all barbers out there, to all y'all shop owners out there, the mobile van is an excellent investment. Excellent investment to get into. You know, I, I own my van. Unlike my shop, I've been there 30 years and I'm still leasing. I'll never own the shop. You know, with the van, one of the reasons why I got into the van is because I knew that I would be able to own this one day. This particular unit right here is five and a half years old. It's paid off, so I own it outright. No more van notes, you know, no more bills to pay. All I got to do is throw gas in it and, and start making money. So that's one of the reasons why I love the mobile experience. I'm about to get another one, about to get a, a Mercedes one next because the mobile experience is doing so good. I don't know about any of the barbers that may be watching on YouTube, but in my area, I'm in the Virginia, uh, Seven Cities area, Virginia Beach, Hampton, Newport News, and there is zero, when I say zero, zero competition in the mobile van business. Now, if there are any out here, I don't know of them, you know, and I pretty much do my homework. So you don't have a lot of competition out here, man. And imagine being in a business where you don't have any competition you got to, if you do things the correct way the right way you got to make money if you don't have no competition so i encourage anybody out there that's watching any barber shop owners or any barber booth renters look to invest in, in a mobile van a mobile barber van you're going to love it you're going to love the experience you're going to love being able to go out here and and actually cut hair anywhere you want to you know i'm not limited to the customers that's just in my shop area you know it might be slow in the shop but i stay busy because i take appointments and i travel i got about a 20 mile radius you know around my shop and 20 miles might not sound like a whole lot but if you get in your van and you drive 20 miles out that's a very large radius so imagine if you had all the business in your surrounding area in your shop Plus, you had a 20-mile radius to go out and cut customers, whether they be at their homes or at work in the shopping centers. I mean, they love it. I got a lot of kid, a lot of kid customers for mobile. And you would think parents or moms wouldn't want to spend, you know, a premium, a premium price, $50, $60 to get their child haircut, you know, instead of just coming to the shop. But you'd be surprised how many moms take this mobile experience very serious and it actually helps them because i i pull up to the house they don't have to come out once they get to know me and they're comfortable they just send their kids out they don't even come out to the van anymore 
they can stay in the house and continue cooking dinner, continue doing whatever they're doing, washing clothes, and it doesn't kill any time from, from their day. Unlike going to the barber shop in the past, you know, you had to set aside a lot of time just to go to the barber shop and not know how long you're going to be in there. You know, so moms are really digging this mobile business. They're really excited. They're some of my best customers, actually, and I'm thankful for them. And, and not just moms, you know, this, this mobile business benefits a lot of people, especially those professionals out there that might not have the time to come to the shop might not want to come to the shop but once you get them an excellent cut in this type of professional and closed personal environment they love it man they love it had a customer pay me a hundred dollars for a haircut last week and i know some of y'all out there might be thinking well all your haircuts should be a hundred dollars if you mobile but that's not the case you got to go with your market in my market you know getting a hundred dollars a haircut is is not substantial for the market that i'm in i'm averaging fifty dollars for mobile haircut so if I get $100, and, and most of the time I get 50 60 and 70 you know, most mobile customers tip better than they do when they come in the shop. So it's an excellent way to make money. I'm about to expand my business. I'm about to buy another one this year, and I'm actually going to rent out to my barbers that's in the shop. I'm going to rent this one out just like you would do booth rent when I got mobile clients that I can't get to or just, just from expansion alone, I'll send them out and I'll just take a percentage off the top of that. I'm not gonna bore you anymore. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the video, comment to the video, let me know what you think. Cuts by Dre, New Styles Mobile Barber.